In this video, we're going to learn about the cathode ray oscilloscope. In short, we call it the CRO. And basically, it's a device that shows how a voltage varies with time. As you can see on the screen of the CRO, okay, so if there are things that varies with the, the voltage varies with the time and you want to measure, for example, the voltage waveform from a transformer or generator, or something that you're more familiar with in the chapter of sound, you can attach a microphone here and you can actually display the wave form of the sound of different pitch and loudness. Next, let's briefly look at the structure and how the CRO works. And you can see here, the first part here is an electron gun where a beam of electrons is being shoot out. And then next is the deflecting system where you have the Y plates and the X plates. Now the thing that you want to study is connected to the Y plates. And, and this Y plate is going to deflect the electron beam in a vertical position. That means you will deflect up and down, moving in the vertical axis. That's why it's called the Y plates, even though the plates are placed horizontally. And next, for the X plates, or sometimes you call it the time base over here, this is going. This is responsible for sweeping the electron beam from left to right. Okay, both will be supplied with a varying voltage. Okay, which I'll talk about later. And finally, when it hits the fluorescent screen here, there's a chemical zinc sulfide here. Okay, when the electron beam reacts with the chemical, it will glow. That's why you can see all this kind of glowing beams forming the waveform. It can be green in color usually. Okay, that's how basically it works. Now let's go back to the deflecting system over here. What causes the electron beams to be deflected vertically or horizontally? Now this is not about Fleming left hand rule because the field that's between the plates, they are electric field, not magnetic field. So you can't apply your Fleming left hand rule to see where it's being deflected. So rather, in between the plates here is electric field. So you have to use your law of electrostatic, which is unlight charges attract and light charges repel to know where the electron beams will be deflected. Now let's talk about the Y plates. The Y plates are placed horizontally and let's say currently there's no source connected to the Y plates or there's no voltage. So there's, there won't be any electric field between the plates. So the electron beams will just go straight without being deflected. But if there is a source attached to it and let's say for easy explanation let's talk about the top plate the top plate will be made positive and of course the bottom will be negative so there will be a electric field and when that happens the electron beams come straight and when it enters into the electric field because unlike charges attract the electron beam being a negative charge it will be deflected upwards and once it's out of the electric field it will just continue to go straight so you can see this electron beam is being deflected upwards likewise it can be deflected downwards if the bottom plate is made positive and with the same source but yet you want the deflection to be greater so that's where the y gains comes in and i'll explain that later now let's talk about the x plate they are placed vertically and when there's no voltage supplied to the X plate, the electron beam will not be deflected, so you'll just stay at the center. But when there's a varying voltage, usually comes in this form, a sawtooth kind of voltage. So from very negative, it will go less and less negative, and then become very positive, and then in a split second, it will jump to very negative again. And then this cycle continues. That's why you have this shape. Okay, so for easy reference, let's concentrate on the plates on the right hand side. Let's start with over here where this right hand plate here is made very negative. As you know, light charges repel this electron beam being negative will be repelled to the left hand side. So it will appear on the left hand side of the screen. As it gets less and less negative, the repulsion force is getting lesser and lesser. So you go back to the center. And then when it starts to get positive and more positive, now since unlike charges attract, so this electron beam will be deflected to the right. And next, in this split second here, 
it will jump to very negative so this electron beam will be deflected to the left hand side because of the great repulsion force so this is this cycle will repeat and that's why you can see that the electron beam will sweep from left to right and how fast you want this beam to sweep across it can be adjusted by the time base which we will talk about it later so now I hope you roughly have an idea the components of a CRO and especially the deflecting system how it causes the beam to be deflected and then you get that kind of waveform on the screen